is Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip-hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. Tory Lane suggests he won't. Megan Thee Stallion back. He was in love with her. All right, y'all, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Check out new interviews with Razzcast, Ari the Rugged Man, Kim Bada, and self-titled in an interview playlist. All right, so Tory Lanez, he dropped a new album titled Daystar. And he has a song on there um, called Solar Drive at Night. And he's singing about Megan Thee Stallion, talking about he wants her back. But also in this album, he's also going at all the people who actually took shots at him for um, allegedly shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Um, J.R. Smith, Dream Doll, Asian Doll, JoJo, Kalani, and everybody else that bashed him. Um, yeah, so he's just singing, talking about like, you know, he had this relationship. He fell in love too fast with Megan Thee Stallion, all this other stuff. And, you know, he felt that if he can do it all over again, everything would be better. So some of the lyrics, he says, we fell in love too fast. And then we watched it all crash. I want you back. I don't know nothing that can make you feel the way I feel about you. All right, let me go. Man. I don't know if she's going to take him back because, first of all, she already jumped on, you know, social media and told everybody that you shot her. So that would be very crazy if she did take him back. I'll be like, what the hell? Um, Tory Lanez, I think this is his way. He's trying to apologize without apologizing. He's very passive aggressive because it's on a record instead of maybe just calling her directly. I'm not going to say that's going to make it feel, make it. Make her feel better or fix the situation, all right? All I'm saying is he's trying to apologize to her. I don't really know what really happened between them. I mean, I know as far as her being shot, but before that, was he in love with her? It's hard to say. Was she in love with him? It's hard to say. Maybe, maybe not. We've heard so many stories about, oh, he was messing with her homegirl and he was jealous and it was a short man complex. It's all kind of shit that people was coming out with. So I don't know. Is this clout chasing? Is this anything to get him some buzz for his album so people can, um, you know, jump on the bandwagon and let me listen to Tory Lane's album. Let me stream it, you know, whatever. So people can have something to talk about so he can be like the hottest um, hashtag being talked about or name being trended, you know, right now. Could be. But I would like to hear from the community. What do you think about Tory Lane's new album? A star. If you haven't heard, I haven't heard it. I, I, I doubt I'm going to listen to it. And his new song dedicated to Megan Thee Stallion and everybody he's actually going at that, you know, took shots at him. Now he's taking shots at them. Post your comments below. Hoax Smash Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Bitmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.